Hi everyone, Leslie here, and I'm going to walk you through the three by four genetic sample report so you have an idea of what your report would look like. Obviously, it would just be your genetic information. So, as we walk on through, you can see it's a sample client here. And on the first and second pages, it's really just highlighting, you know, the report, understanding the colors, and then the table of contents. So just to give you a quick summary of the colors so you kind of understand as I'm going through the report. Uh, the All of the genes will be color-coded, either gray, which I'll get to in a second, which means no variance, and then impactful, if they're low impact, then they'll be this mustard color, medium color, medium impact will be teal colored, high is this color purple, and very high is this color. So we always tell our clients to follow the purple. So if there are genes that are color-coded purple, whether it's high or very high, you know, those are genes that you probably have several variants in. And we want to pay, you know, special attention there and, and focus and, and really work on the nutrition and lifestyle and supplement, you know, recommendations that really help turn those genes on and off and can help them. Same with pathways. So I know it's a lot of terms at you, but the genes themselves will be color coded and then the pathways themselves will be color coded. So I'll show you that in a second so that you'll understand a little bit more when I show you. So like I said, page here, page three is really just the table of contents. In the three by four report, I'll explain how three by four actually gets its name. So the you're gonna be working with a dietitian that's gonna go through every single pathway. So you will really comprehensively understand your report. But they just, if they just spit it out to you and you didn't have anyone helping you, they would identify your top three pathways and so that you don't have to like read your report and really understand it. So this person's top three pathways, you can see here are methylation, oxidative stress, and glucose and insulin. And then in each of their top three pathways, they break down three nutrition recommendations related to methylation, three uh, lifestyle recommendations related to methylation, and then three different supplement kind of protocols or areas or supplements that are related to methylation, if that makes sense. So that's how they get the three by four uh, name is on three different pathways and then three nutrition, three lifestyle, three supplement. You guys get it. All right. So, and then the same thing, right? They're oxidative stress, same thing. Nutrition, lifestyle, supplements. Nutrition, lifestyle, stup supplements. But like I said, with the Nutrigenomics course, we're actually going to be going through every single pathway. So you're going to have nutrition, lifestyle, and supplement recommendations for every single pathway. Now, whether or not you need to go really in depth on all of them, it's not like you, I, you need to take all of these supplements. So don't be looking at it and thinking, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to be taking three, four, or five supplements per pathway pathway. Absolutely not. They're not all needed. We'll break down which ones are appropriate for you. But, um, and then there are pathways that you, which you'll see in a second that are low impact. So you don't need to focus there, right? You only need to focus really on your, we say follow the purple on your really purple high impact pathways. That's where you need to focus because it's impossible to focus on everything. And that's why this course is so impactful is it actually gives you the roadmap of exactly what you need to focus on and focus your energy. All right, so pages six and seven are actually just a breakdown of every single gene tested in the report. And then they separate them by protective genes, which are good genes. So these are good ones. Uh, if you have protective genes, they'll have little shields next to them, which shows you the gene. This middle column, I, I overall don't tell people really to look at too much. It's a lot of um, technical stuff and M Emma and I will help walk you through that. You really don't need to look at this. Really just the name of the gene. And then this column is your genotype or your combination. It's personal to you. So um, you can see the protective genes, slow response genes, then all these no impact genes, this just means they're really no impact. So there's not, they're not protective, but they're not bad for you either. There's no risk involved in those. So these, we don't really pay too much attention to. These are, it's a good thing. Um, and then we get down where they're color coded. This means that there was some sort of variant. Now, low impact just means that you probably just had one copy of the variant. Not always, but 
sometimes. So you're heterozygous. So it's a little bit of an impact, but it's not a lot. Um, and then same with medium, you know, medium, it depends on the gene. Some of them, you know, you might have two copies of the variant, but it might not be that impactful of a gene on your health. I mean, they're all impactful, but they do all this scoring on the back end called Darwin scoring that scores all of the genes and your genotype and how impactful it is. So, you know, medium impact, you know, sometimes we're looking at those, the teal colored ones, but like I said, we're really focusing on these purple ones. So, uh, I've recorded actually a video on every single gene tested, if you can believe that. So 140 plus genes, there's a video for all of them that we call the video or the gene library. And in that, you know, the videos are between like probably three and eight minutes long for each gene. It's not like it's an hour on every gene. But in that, I would encourage people when they get the results, anything that is purple, I would encourage you to listen to those individual gene videos. You know, when we go through that pathway, so when we're in the blood pressure pathway and we're talking about the ACE gene, go listen to that ACE video if, if it's purple. You know, that's saying that you had a variant, you're likely, you know, affected by your genotype. So let's go listen to that video and see if it has any individual information that would be relevant to you. So there's all the genes there um, on this page and this page, like I said, but a lot of times we're just scanning to, to this page right here to look at the purple. Now, moving on, on page eight, this is a very good snapshot. So if you just wanted to open up your report and see what do I need to focus on in pathways, here. So like I said, if you're following me here, all the genes are color coded individually, but then on the back end, they're doing the scoring and I'll show you examples of every gene that's included in every pathway. Cause that's my favorite part of the report. And you can see that they're actually scoring and then they'll tell you, then they'll color code the pathways themselves as well. So same thing, follow the purple. I mean, it's great if you want to listen to these videos on histamine and blood clotting, if you were this person, but overall, I would say spend your energy on, you know, the very bright purple. And then once you've conquered those, then let's go back and listen to this, you know, this violet purple. Um, and then if you really have a ton of energy, then go listen to the medium, the teal colored ones, you know. But overall, just focus on the purple. So this person has a lot of purple. Not everybody has this much purple, so don't worry. But this person has, you know, all methylation, oxidative stress, glucose and insulin, memory and brain, pro-inflammatory fat, weight loss resistance, injury, B12, full weight, endurance, you know, they have a lot of purple, but you would focus on, you know, this bright colored purple that's very high there. Again, this is really just a snapshot. Now, moving on, these pages are really just for those people that like to read the little summary. So it gives you a little summary of, of what is going on in your body. Um, underneath these and they have these great infographics and actually crazy enough the infographics change in different people's reports based on your results which I think is really attention to detail on three by fours report so they'll actually make like if oxidative stress is a big issue for you then they'll have you know more of the oxidative stress and then they'll have you know bigger detoxification and um you know, the pictures will be varied based on, on your results. And then, but these are more like infographics. I don't use these pages a lot. I think that they're more for the client to read through and, and just, you know, appreciate the, the time spent on the infographics here. So, but they're ranking them as you can see. So in, um, cellular, you can see methylation was the highest, uh, followed by oxidative stress, detoxification and inflammation. And then here in systems, you can see uh, glucose and insulin was number one, cholesterol was two, you know, um, that's not right, memory and brain health was two, um, what was three, I don't see the three, maybe I'm missing it, um, they're numbered here, and then down here in vascular health, they're also numbered. There's three, collagen and joints, and then um, four. Sorry, I digress. Anyways, um, and then the cholesterol page is numbered 
um, one, two, three, or four. They're by themselves, so I don't know why they're kind of in between all the systems. But, you know, of the cardiovascular health, you can see what is ranked here. And then energy there. So energy, this page is really related to weight um, and whether or not losing weight is difficult for you. If it's hard for you to, um, if it, you seem to have difficulty losing weight uh, throughout your lifetime. The activity overview is really geared towards exercise, injury, and recovery. And then the nutrients are really just uh, individual nutrients and genes associated with them. So you can see Sorry, I'm scanning through these. Caffeine, iron overload, fatty acids, choline, folate, gluten, vitamin D, salt, vitamin C, vi vitamin B12, okay? Then moving on, you're gonna have gloss, the glossary, which you, is important to read through these. You know, I encourage people to read through them when we're going through each pathway. So you'll have a few pages of those. And then this is the area page 23 to 31 are my favorites that i use so that's really breaking down every single pathway and then it actually includes the genes that are all included in that pathway and your genotype so when we go through say the methylation module i'll want you to open up your report scan to this page see if you have any purple genes here if this person doesn't which is crazy right because that's color-coded purple for the pathway so you would assume that they have a lot of purple colored genes in that pathway but with the darwin scoring for whatever reason all these teal and low medium and low impact on the scoring end there were so many of them that they probably added up to the same amount of number or the impact as if there was like one or two purple ones that were high impact, if that makes sense. So it can add up the scoring on the back end, either because you have a lot of, a few purples that added up, or um, because you had so many, uh, you know, low impact and medium impact that it actually added up and it was a, a cumulative effect that it made an impact. I, excuse me, I hope that made sense. So you'll we'll go through this you know every pathway at a time so the course itself we will spend a week uh on each of the cellular pathways at a time there's so much information a week individually for these although we combine collagen and joints and bone health um a week on hormone a week on histamine you know there's just a lot of information to break down a lot of them when we get to cardiovascular health we'll do two of these in one week and two of them in another week and then uh, we do all of the energy in one module. It's all really interconnected. And there is some overlap with some of the genes there. And then we'll do one whole module on exercise. And then the nutrients we combine and we do like five module or five pathways in one module, if that makes sense. So because there's a lot less genes. So just like knowing these two genes will tell us whether or not you're really, you know, your needs for B12 are, are needed or, you know, these two genes really tell us how salt sensitive you are. Even like the iron overload and gluten, we just really have one gene and your genotype will tell us where you're at on that spectrum. So that is the report so it's i've used several reports in my lifetime um i should say like lifetime in my professional career i've used this is my third company and i really really like the three by four report i think it's so comprehensive i think all of their genes have uh you know clinical relevance which i think is so important you know if you're you're spending the money i think that we should be focusing on genes that you can do something about and have clinical relevance so like they, they impact your health versus just these hand-picked genes that are kind of like fun information but you can't do anything about them you know i don't think that we should waste our time i guess with those kinds of things so i really like the three by four report i like how they structure their um, their clinical guide and their, you know, cl client facing report. Uh, so I know I went through this quickly, but if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. I'm always happy to explain more about the report or answer questions about three by four or answer questions about our nutrigenomics.